Hey, where am I today? I'm here at the Reptarium in Detroit, Michigan. That's right, I've made it all the way from Australia and it's well worth the trip. I tell you, it's gonna be experience of a lifetime. Make sure you continue to join the adventure with me here on Criticam. Let's go and check out the Reptarium. Uh, down here, we actually have, let's see if we can see him. Oh, you can just see his head right up there in the corner there. Let's see if we can get him to come out. He might or might not come out when we open up this enclosure. To see what happens here. This is actually, an albino Nile monitor. So this is the only albino Nile monitor in the entire world. And uh, he's just up there in his crevice, climbed up on the top right there. You can see his head. Wonderful animal. Not the most friendly of animals, but you can get him out. He'll whip around a little bit. He won't really bite you, but uh, but he doesn't like to be handled. So we, we kind of give him his space. Of course, we have the, the infamous normal Burmese python, wild type. This guy's name is Snaz, and just he's absolutely beautiful and wonderful <laughs> to hold and stuff like that. This is a really cool snake here. This is a small snake, a small little colubrid snake. Let's find a key. Pick a key, any key. Any key. This is called a Baron's Racer. Ooh. You see that little nose appendage there. And these are a rear fang venomous snake, but again, mildly venomous, so nothing too bad. And good news is they very rarely bite, which is really good. But uh, these guys can get six to eight foot long. So uh, so this is just a little guy here, only a few months old. But love it. Such a cool little snake. Beautiful colors and stuff like that. Absolutely wonderful. Then we have, let's see here, we have, uh, this is just a cool snake. This is where you need feel a vision for your viewership here. <laughs> this is a scaleless Texas rat snake. Feels so weird, right? It is the weirdest feeling. And now there's still some remnant scales. Yep, there is, and they always have the ventral scales as well. Isn't that weird? So, so some will be completely scaleless. Some will have some remnant scales on them. You can see the on his head. It almost looks like he has multiple eyes because he's got scalation on yep. his head. So it's uh, it's just a cool snake. This name is named Joker. And it's just it's really a cool snake. People love it. It's really good to, to have. Let's see. We have uh, Argus monitor here. And of course, a white throat monitor here. So, so I guess this is the contentious topic here, Argus monitor. We call them panoptes back home. What do you panoptes. call them? Panoptes. Panoptes? Yeah, we call them panoptes. Okay, got um, Because they do the same species, same everything. They do the tripoding, they stand up. Yeah. And you guys call them Arg Argus because I, I think uh, I think somewhere along the line they do exist in PNG as well. They do, this, the, these ones are from PNG, yeah, yeah. These, this bloodline here. Look at this. Now, this, this, is, this is the weirdest thing, I think, for the African species, is the head shape. It's very different than the guanas you guys have. Yep. Much more beefy, like, you know, triangular, not as long, you know. But this is, this is one of the three rock monitors in Africa. This is what they would call a white-throated. And then of course we have a black throated as well. Black throats get much bigger. This is pretty much full grown adult yeah. white throat here. It's actually a female. And then we have a full grown adult male black throated monitor, uh, which is uh, is amazing too. Then we of course have our, our, our uh, monkey tail or, or Solomon Island prehensile tail skinks. They're a little bit feisty, so you gotta be a little bit careful with them. But you know, again, they have that prehensile tail. And of course, of course, it's like having a blue tongue that climbs trees, but these things have got a much powerful bite, trust me. Yeah, you don't want to get bit by these. They Look have the very, very, structure. and they have very, 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 very sharp claws because they're so great at climbing. There you go, bud. There you go. Look at that. Effortlessly climbing, you know? So there's a pair of them in here. That's actually Wilma that we just took a look at right there. And there's the other one. There's the boy. He's a little feisty monkey. I tell you what, he don't like people too much. That's for, that's for <laughs> sure. You got to always be careful about this. This is actually a Dominican mountain uh, boa here. And these guys are super cool too. Some you don't see very often. Yeah. It's, you know, in the same genus as rainbow boas, like the Brazilian rainbow boas, but this is a Dominican red mountain boa. Look at those colors. It's Beautiful, almost, huh? It's almost remnants of a... Uh a Bredlai python or yeah, a Centralian yeah. carpet exactly. python for us. It's, uh, yeah. similar colors. Same exact color Got pattern. Like more banding than, than blotching. Yeah, so cool. What is that? And these I mean, are and these are live bearers too. Yeah, so oh, which geez. makes it that that make life easy. Yeah, Once again, it's it's a different species that you typically don't see in collections here in the US. Absolutely awesome. I love it. Yep. And we try to have a lot of that, right? We try to have stuff that you see commonly and stuff that you never see, you know, and that's what we try to really, you know, make that. That, that, that bridge, right? We have some green tree monitors up here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we got a pair of those guys. Looking happy. Oh, they're so good. Beautiful animals. Unbelievable. Yes, this is the one. And then we have this guy here that is uh, absolute beauty. 
Now this is something you rarely see in the US, let alone see in collections, private collections. This is an absolute treat, trust me guys. So this is great. This is actually, his name is Bugatti because we always say he's the Bugatti of pythons. And this of course is a Bolin's python from P&G. Look at that. The look black that. is so iridescent. And so look at the color of the head. Yeah, big scales. Absolutely. Big scales on the head. Just un like no other snake you've ever seen, you know? And the thing is too, I, I did actually get to see an adult, big mm. adult male, That'll, and they're they get, big. They get big. They'll get nine, 10 foot long, pretty chunky snakes. Absolutely wonderful animals. And they're so docile. So, I mean, they are. Almost everyone I've ever seen is really, really good. And uh, this guy, we've been working with him since he was a baby. So he's extra special for us and really just a really good snake. So we were very, very blessed to have him on display here. And, and again, this, uh, it's just a cool snake that again, people normally don't get a chance to see. And uh, you can come here and see it. It's just, uh, that's what it's all about. And you guys know that it's hands on here. So, I mean, we want people to really get an opportunity to, to get up and close and personal to these animals. This is actually a hundred flower rat snake from China called a Molendorfi. And there again, that's a, that's a pretty cool species. Isn't it cool? It's like three different snakes. It's got a red head, yeah, green body, off, red. It just changes. Yep, and then red. It's <laughs> changing color. Yes. It's, if you saw this it, it, you know, curled up somewhere, you'd think there was a couple snakes for sure. But it's just one snake. Really cool Chinese animal. Another Chinese colubrid right beneath it is actually the Mandarina or Mandarin Ooh, rat snake. Yes. These guys are gorgeous. Take a look at how beautiful that is. Oh. Love these guys. Look at the colors in that. Just absolutely breathtaking. Isn't that cool? I love them. That's the thing with the, the Chinese. They have really obscure marked and colored animals. They like do. really bright, like they super really bright. Do. It's very unique, very unique. Of course, hey Chris. Uh, of course, we have the Blue Baron's Racer. This is just like the green one that I showed you baby-wise, but this is an adult female Blue Baron's Racer. And uh, the males are more blue than females, but uh, but still very, you know, still have that bluish tint to them, which is very interesting. These are an interesting little lizard here. These are what they would call oh, yes. Gastropholus persinus, sometimes called the green belly, ke green keeled belly lizard or long tail lizard, because you can see that long tail and uh, just really cool little lizards. Feisty little dudes though, they'll bite you and hang on forever. <laughs> of course your favorite wall, your arachnid wall here, they're all getting fed today. No. So you can see this giant, look at this giant one right here that's eating right now. This is the, the Goliath bird eating tarantula, the largest, heaviest body tarantula on the planet. It's got a little bit of a munch going on right now. I mean, we got all kinds of arachnids, we got uh, Green bottle blues. We've got uh, black black Brazilians. We've got curly hairs. We've got uh, we've got uh, rose hairs. We've got uh, goody sapphires. You know all kinds of good stuff. Pink toes. Really cool stuff here. Uh, let's see. Keep moving. Oh, I got some for you. But they're all got eight legs and they're all hairy. <laughs> and they do. But they're amazing. They're absolutely wonderful. Look at this one. Now to you, it, this may not be that special. Well, but to us, it's very special. There's only a handful of these in the entire country. Of course, the Centralian blue tongue skink. So we're really lucky. I think there's probably less than 10 of these in the entire country. Well, so, uh, so this is a pretty special animal. Unfortunately, this is a boy and we don't have a girl. So one day, hopefully we'll be able to find a girl for him and uh, maybe be able to produce these guys because not many people have these for sure. So, but, uh, but this guy, we named him Potato because he acts like a potato <laughs> and he looks like a potato. So, uh, so that's all he does. But I, I love him and I think he's absolutely incredible. Look, they come from my home country and we still love them. They're a gorgeous animal. And believe it or not, there's still not a lot of these animals represented in our hobby either. Isn't that wild? And they're still typically a little bit more difficult to breed. So that's a pretty cool thing right there. It's really cool. Of course, we have uh, a little Euromastix. We have a few species of Euromastix here. This is Milton. <laughs> Look, look how chunky that thing is. But more importantly, look at the look at the look characteristics. That look at that tail. Look at the body. Look at that chunky yeah. head. I know, it is so cool. It's just so, and it's, these guys come in a variety of colors too, they right? Do, Oranges, yeah, they do, yeah. Oranges, yellows, yep, yep. reds. Blue. Oh. You know, all kinds. And of course we have the Egypticus too, which are the, the largest species. You have to three foot long. Jeez. So this guy's pretty much full grown here. He's a molly. 
and they don't get really much bigger than that. But, uh, but the, 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 the uh, Egyptians, which are, are probably the least colorful of them, they're just kind of a grayish color, still absolutely wonderful. Of course, we've got a black dragon in here. This is actually the melanistic water monitor. Let's we'll see yeah. if we can get him to come down for us. So the black dragon is obviously referred to the color pigmentation of this particular species. Can I come down to it, please? The Asian water monitor is absolutely gorgeous and typically a very friendly individual sort absolutely of lizard. Super friendly. Want to come down, bud? Want to come down and see me? He's thinking about it. There he comes. There you go, baby. Come on, bud. Come on down, bud. Come on down. All the way. All the way. Come on. Come see me. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Come on down. Good boy. It's right about now we're expecting a bite back home. No, not with this guy. Hey, baby. Look at that. He's leaning into the, the scratch. He's like, scratch my neck, scratch my neck. Is that cool? That a lizard that comes to its name, That's just amazing. comes to hang out with me, just wants scratches and pets. And what's that due to, Brian? Tell us. It's, it's all like, it's, good time. It's t thousands and thousands of hours of time into this yep. little monkey here. I mean, we worked so hard on him and getting him to be docile. It's absolutely incredible. You can see I'm, as I'm petting him, he's leaning into that pet like he's absolutely enjoying the interaction. It's like a puppy dog. Yep, he's like a puppy. Yeah, I mean, right he's such there. a good animal. I love that guy to death. So I put lots and lots of time, had him since he was only seven days old. Ooh. He's now almost two years old. And, and every day that I'm here, I put tons of time into him. Another rock monitor. You gotta take a sniff in here, Peter. Sniff. So I had a sniff earlier. Did you have a sniff earlier?